Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brigitte and today I have a grocery haul for you. So I went to Walmart today and in a couple of days I'm going to Costco. So I'm going to show you all of that for the month of February. And keep in mind all of January we have been doing a pantry challenge. So we bought only $40 worth of groceries and we ate out of our freezers and our pantry. So we are down a few things and really craving some fresh ingredients. So let me show you what we got, how we're gonna use it. If I know the meals that we're gonna use it for, I'm gonna tell you that. The prices will be on the screen as always. So let's just get into it. Hopefully this video will give you some ideas for your groceries this month. Okay, this is our Walmart grocery haul. It is small because we're planning to do a lot of stuff at Costco, um, even fresh ingredients, but there are some things that Costco just doesn't really carry, so I usually get them at Walmart. So let's start over here. We've got some pepperoni. We've been making our own pizza for the last few weeks uh, because of the pantry challenge. We ran out of frozen pizza, um, and it's been really nice. Like actually like have made some pretty good ones. So I got pepperoni for the kids because they love pepperoni. And then I got some cabbages. So I got a kit for fermenting and all the things you need for it. So I'm gonna make some sauerkraut with this purple cabbage. And I have two of these green cabbages. And so that is the plan for those. I will definitely share the process with you guys and maybe after I do it a couple of times and tell you how it goes and how I am liking the kit that I got. We, I, I should say, have sriracha uh, almost every time I eat eggs, which has been less because I've been intermittent fasting. Uh, if you missed that video, it'll be linked down below, but it was the latest uh, recent video in the last like two weeks. and. So I'm gonna maybe start doing some breakfasts for lunch because I just love breakfast in general, like sausages, bacon, eggs, sriracha. So I needed some more sriracha, I'm down to like this much and I really don't want to run out. We also use it for like making dips and stuff for Asian things and wings and chicken and all that. So gotta have some. Got some Dijon mustard for some salad dressings. We're gonna make some of our own homemade salad dressings. Oh. Got some mandarin oranges um, to put in the pantry for the kids. Uh, I typically get like the small cans, but I just decided to get one big can because we went through a couple with the pantry challenge. And I got some of this baked beans we don't normally get, but I thought it would be nice to have in the pantry because we can do hot dogs and baked beans, which is what the kids had yesterday. So I got one to restock. Got some of this green leaf lettuce because um, I'm gonna make some fresh salads, which will be nice, even if it's just a little side salad. Uh, have some protein with it and some toppings and sprouts I wanna do and stuff like that. Got some bananas for the kids. We haven't had bananas in a while and it's kinda hit or miss as to whether or not they like it. Um, but got some of those. Got some lemons because I'm going to juice these and then freeze the rest. And I think I'm gonna get some more at Costco. Um, so that's the plan for that. I'm gonna juice them and then freeze them. Got some of these green onions, two of them, because we are gonna be making sushi tonight. So right now, we are defrosting this, um, whatever, stuff here <laughs> for the sushi. And then we got this little kit a little while ago to roll it. So we're gonna use that and we have the seaweed and we've got sushi rice, so I just gotta cook that today. So the green onions are for that. We'll do like cream cheese and that and crunchies and got this uh, cucumber here for that. And uh, I don't know, some other random stuff. Avocado, we have avocado. So that's gonna be an experiment. We haven't ever done that before. Got some of these carrots, which I might also shred and use pieces of in the sushi, but also on salads and roasting them is good. And you know, we can use those in a bunch of ways. And I have got some all-purpose flour here, but spoiler alert, we just ordered a grain mill. Ah! Ah! I'm so excited. Uh, so I got some other stuff for uh, grinding our own grain and that is going to come through Azure, but I needed some all-purpose flour because I realized that the pastry flour is not the same as all-purpose flour. I didn't really know that, but I need to feed my sourdough starter and I wanted to make some either like dinner rolls or um, some pizza bread this week 
like pizza crust, I mean. So uh, I needed some all-purpose flour. So I just got one of the organic ones from Walmart, but I have a big order coming from Azure, which is a couple weeks from now. So that's the story on that, but I just needed some to fill in for the next couple of weeks. But I'm so excited for it. I think it comes in this week. And I ordered some einkorn to grind in it. Ah! Okay, back to the haul. As far as non-grocery items go, I got these slow cooker liners, which are just a lifesaver when I'm using the crock pot. And so I like to use them. And then I also got some toothpaste uh, because we're running out. Um, I don't know, we don't normally get like just a plain brand like that. We usually get the 3D, is it Crest? Is it Colgate? I don't even know, but I just got this one. And then I got some Band-Aids for the kids and just to restock, we've been going through Band-Aids because I don't know, kids, and they just go through Band-Aids. So this is the Walmart haul. And in a couple of days, I will see you for our Costco haul. Okay, we're back from Costco. It's a couple days later and oh my gosh, we have a ton of stuff. So I know I told you we are doing, we did a pantry challenge in January, so we have a lot of stuff. So let me just get right to it. Okay, here is the haul, everyone. You might see some interesting choice of things here, but I'm gonna go through kind of where we're at on our food journey. And if you missed uh, the previous video I did a couple videos ago on why I'm intermittent fasting, that's going to be in the description box, but here is what we've got non-grocery items over here. We just got a couple of things. So let me start way back here. So normally I set this up. We have meat and dairy, produce, vegetables, and processed condiment things at the end. So here we go. We have some mozzarella cheese back here. We, we've been making our own uh, pizzas instead of getting the frozen pizzas, which no shame on the frozen pizzas. We did it for a long time or we just bought pizza because you know, sometimes life happens. I'm trying to make all of our own bread products because I ordered a grain mill, which I'm super excited about. It's supposed to come this week. And I'm gonna try to just make a lot of our dough and breads and muffins and stuff like that with flour we have. So I have a order coming from Azure, which has a lot of stuff in it. So I'm gonna make our own pizza crust. I've got some recipes I wanna try. So that's why we got some more mozzarella. We got um, some of these pork sausages. Uh, these are just so good. We air fry them after slicing them and it's quick protein. Everyone loves it. So we got some of those and these frozen meatballs, which are good. Brielle loves these even in her lunch, just cold. So that's a win. Great on pasta for the kids or just a side dish, whatever. So good meat there. We got some of this beef patties. Uh, we know these are good. We've had these before. They're already pre-cooked. And so these are great to actually throw in the air fryer, like 375, 400 for like 15 minutes or so. And they cook up great. So easy. We can just eat them with vegetables or on um, some homemade bread that I'm going to do. Um, we got these crispy vegetable spring rolls. These are kind of not usually in line with what we're going to go for this month, but they have only four grams of sugar. So we were trying to stay under five for everything. These will just be great in the air fryer. Um, and then if we can get the kids to eat them, that's an even better win. So, and it comes with a little sauce. We've never tried these before. So this is going to be a new thing for us. Got these grass fed beef um, Polish sausages that I don't know if we've tried these before, but they were not that more, they were like, like 30 cents more expensive than the other sausages that we normally get. They're like beef sticks. They're like really long ones. And these are probably better for you. So comes in this four pack. I might throw two of these in the freezer and then keep one out to use. Um, but that'll also be sliced in, in the air fryer or sauteed in some butter in the skillet. So that'll be nice. We got some whole milk and got the A2 kind because I hear that's supposed to be better for you. I did a little bit of research. I'm gonna do a little bit more, but uh, a couple months ago was the first time I saw that Costco had it. So I wanted to try it. Um, and so we decided to pick it up this time. And since it's still ultra pasteurized, I can make yogurt from it in our instant pot, which is super easy. Um, there's a video on it. I'll try to link it down below, but uh, it's so much cheaper. I make a half gallon at a time. So we're gonna try this um, out. We normally get the whole milk organic, just Kirkland brand. So we're gonna try that. 
Got some of this olive oil because we needed some more and normally we get extra virgin olive oil. Uh, this is cheaper and I know you can use this olive oil in baking because it's not um, as like olive oily, <laughs> I guess you could say. That's olive oil we got, it's gonna last a while. We don't use olive oil a ton, maybe for dressings and then sometimes for baking, but normally we stick to like butter, coconut oil and um, avocado oil. So I got three heavy whipping creams. We use this in our cold brew coffee and when we make our own whipped cream. So uh, we got three of those. Our cold brew video is gonna be linked below. It's super yummy, super easy. We love it. It's actually brewing and I gotta filter the rest over there. Cause we're always filtering it. Got some Greek yogurt. And you may be asking, but why? Cause you got milk to make yogurt. Well, yes I did, but I do like this yogurt mixed with mayonnaise for a homemade Greek, not Greek, uh, ranch dressing with this Greek yogurt. And it's super good. You can use it as a dip or as like, you know, a little bit thinner, you can use it as a dressing, but it gives you the probiotics of the yogurt with, you know, some mayo for taste and really good. And I have my own um, seasoning mix for the ranch to go in there. I actually just use the recipe that Sarah from Our Tribe of Many does, and it's super good, I love it. Got some more of these applesauces for the pantry. I like these because they are the no sugar added applesauces. You can substitute this for baking. You can also just have a bowl of this with cinnamon, and it's just good to have on hand for extra fruit in case you run out of fresh stuff, which we did use during our pantry challenge. So I'm restocking what we've got. Got some asparagus here. These are good in the air fryer or just baked um, in the oven, 400 salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder or spog as I like to say. And um, so we got some asparagus to have. These sweet peppers, mini peppers, I love these. They're so good in the ranch dressing that I make and even Brielle will eat these. Um, so we're gonna, um, eat those this week. I'll go through all of that in a week for sure. Got some frozen broccoli because I think we have one left and uh, frozen broccoli is just always good to have in the freezer. Got this watermelon because Benjamin requested it. I told him we have to make sure and get one that has a good solid yellow spot because that means it was able to ripen on the vine on the ground before they picked it and it should taste better. So and it should sound kind of hollow, I think. So this is the one I picked. Also got these organic cut and peeled baby carrots because I'm gonna eat some of them this week and try to get the kids to eat them with the ranch dip there. And then I'm also gonna freeze some because carrots are great to throw in smoothies and you barely notice them, especially with like mango. It's really good or orange like any type of orange, very good. We got those carrots and we got some fresh strawberries. We haven't had a lot of fresh fruit except for apples this last month. And so super excited to have fresh strawberries again and fresh blueberries. These are just good for lunches and stuff like that. Got some uh, red seedless grapes. So they always have such a good deal and they usually last for a while. All right, also we got some avocado oil, like I was saying with the avocado oil, I mean with the olive oil, needed some more avocado oil. So got some of that. Got some organic parsley um, because I use that in the ranch dressing. So I got some more and we got some of these pouches uh, because we needed some more. All right, we also got this mixed organic squash. So it's yellow squash and zucchini. And I think I'm gonna make, uh, like shred these up or something and put them in the freezer. I wanna make little pucks of them so I can make zucchini muffins. And then um, I might just like saute these up with some butter and salt. It's really good that way. So uh, got those. Also, this is like the best price for this ginger ever. Um, I like to freeze our ginger and use it in smoothies, but also I've been using it making our own fire cider, which is like this vinegar, like infused, like immunity support drink. And it has like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do a video on it, but it's ginger, garlic, uh, rosemary, like a whole bunch of other things that are good for your immune system. Jalapenos, uh, I don't know, uh, look out for the video. I'll have to do it sometime soon. So I got some ginger there and I'm just gonna mostly put it in the freezer so it stays fresh, fresher. Uh, we got some of these navel oranges because um, fresh fruit, trying to keep our immune system strong here. 
Also got these organic strawberries for the freezer for smoothies and the kids actually will eat this as a snack. Um, just like I'll cut them up in half or something and they'll eat these a little bowl of these for a snack. And we're trying to do like more fruit for dessert than other things. Although, you know, we still are baking our own stuff and having those um, for desserts sometimes. But I will bake cookies and then put them in the freezer so we don't feel the rush to eat them all. We can just pull out one or two, you know, on special nights or whatever. Got some of this creamy um, natural peanut butter. Trying to... Um, do the natural with peanuts but we don't use a lot of peanut butter right now unless we're at home because the kids can't have peanuts or any nuts at school so I do have some sunflower seed butter that we are using and that's in the pantry but um, this is like just the best deal at Costco and it lasts until the end of the year so got that um, got some pink Himalayan sea salt to have extra of in the pantry we have like maybe half of one of these and I have um, sea salt that's white and I have like one of these full. So you can never have too much extra salt around here. <clears throat> Got some of this unfiltered, supposedly raw honey. Um, we like to sweeten things with honey, so we got that. I got these to try, garlic stuffed olives, green olives. So that'll be interesting. Me and Brandon like olives, and I'm gonna try to get the kids to try it, because you know, sometimes kids surprise you and they end up liking stuff like that. So I got that, got some mayo for back up in the pantry because we just opened the one we had with, during our pantry challenge. Never seen this at Costco, but the Frank's Red Hot Original, so good. I think this was like $10, so $5 each is a pretty good deal. This is like a huge bottle. So, well, each bottle is a 25 ounce one. So, you know, I love my hot sauce. Got this uh, Parmesan cheese uh, to have back up in the pantry because we opened the other one and it's in the fridge. And let me just tell you, okay, we have a lot of chips here. We will get to that, all right? We got some of this spinach for mostly, I'm going to bag this up and put it in the freezer for smoothies, but I'm gonna eat some of this fresh in the next several days in some salads. So that's why I got this in the bag. Normally the bag ones don't last super long, but it's fine because I plan to put most of it in the freezer or we can saute it up because it shrinks down a lot but it's a huge bag, but the price is just so good. I got this um, organic Kirkland tomato sauce, 12 cans uh, to put in the pantry because we have only a couple left and I've been trying to make my own pizza sauce. And since we're making our own pizzas with the mozzarella and the yeast and the dough and all of that, I got some of this to just make our own. And if I canned, I would make my own pizza sauce and then can it, but I'm not there yet gonna get there but I can um, just open a can and then freeze any extra that we don't use and then season it you know however we want so okay cane sugar Brigitte why would you get cane sugar when you're trying to stay away from sugar that is an excellent question I'm so glad you asked me because this cane sugar is not for baking actually it's for our water kefir grains that are coming hopefully in our Azure order because um, it comes in a couple of weeks. Haven't placed it yet, but the cutoff is in a week and then it'll be a week after that. But we have made water kefir before. We've actually made kombucha before for periods of time in the last 10 years. And so I wanna start doing water kefir again for the probiotics. I don't know why it was so scary when I first started doing it years ago, but I don't know if it's just cause I've been doing so many more fermenting things and homemade things and you know all that stuff in the kitchen that it's just not as scary but I'm super excited this time and I feel like um, it's easier in my brain um, but you need cane sugar and actually I saw a mixture of cane sugar and coconut sugar that you can use to like feed the grains and um, so anyways we needed some cane sugar because we didn't have any so this is going to go into like a big um, jar or something and that's basically for our water kefir. And of course, I will share the process with you if you're interested. If you're interested, actually leave me a comment down below because I have a lot of things that I've been experimenting with in the kitchen and I will definitely share it if you guys are interested. Okay, we got this sparkling water. Um, these are all the flavors. I am not really that picky. Um, there's lemon, lime, and grapefruit. I like to have one every time I go to work for lunch. It just makes it a little extra special since I'm at work. And so this is basically all for me. The best price for sparkling water, really. Brandon doesn't like any of the citrus things, so it's all mine. All right, so let's talk about all. Hi. 
of these chips for snacks, okay? First of all, we got the healthy stuff, the low carb. We got these chicharronas, pork fried, fried pork rinds. These are the best um, pork rinds that you can get out there. So when they go on sale at Costco, we grab them. Actually, I'm, I don't know, maybe a year ago, they had a really good sale and we got like six bags, no lie. These are the chili and salt ones. They're really good. So we got uh, two of them um, because they're that good. Even Brielle likes these. So I don't know, maybe she likes a little more spice than Benjamin, or at least she tolerates it better than he does. They're only like slightly spicy. So it's not like it's really, really spicy. Okay, now, as far as all these other chips go, let me just tell you a little backstory. So I said in the beginning, we're trying to stay away from sugar. And so all the chips do not have sugar or they have very minimal, like our goal was less than five grams per serving. So all of these have less than five grams per serving. And yes, they have like oils that they're cooked in, which is not great. But in our effort to start to minimize and change the diets of the kids and us, we're starting with us and making small but sustainable changes in order to move ourselves in a direction that will be uh, able to be upheld long-term. So are chips healthy for you? Mm, not really, not when you're comparing it to like vegetables and like whole fruits and things that occur in nature more naturally. Obviously, these are processed. So are they good for you? Not really. But are they better for you than like a 25 gram sugar granola bar? Maybe because you're not getting the insulin response that a granola bar would give you with all of its sugar when you're eating the chips. So if you want to know more kind of about that, I did talk about insulin and all of that stuff in that video. It's the fasting video that I did a couple of videos ago. So it's going to be linked below. But that is why we got a lot of chips, plus these big ones were on sale. So we got two Doritos, uh, the nacho cheese. We were gonna get plain tortilla chips and then um, do like a nacho bar, like just on the table, like on paper, just kind of do like a taco nacho bar with the kids. But we just decided to do it on these because these are just so good anyway. So we'll do like some either chicken or beef and then sour cream and some salsa, avocado, you know, maybe some onions, stuff like that. And then we can just have it all out on the table on some like parchment paper or whatever and just have a fun little dinner one night. So we got two of them and these are good for like three months if you don't open them. So we're just gonna open one at a time and then make sure we eat it or bag it up for the lunches for the kids so that they don't go stale. So we got two Doritos, one Cheetos. Um, so, you know, we'll probably open one of these first, then the Cheetos, then the Doritos. So it's not like two bags of Doritos in a row. And actually this one's going first cause we already opened it. <laughs> this is the Annie's extra cheddar cheesy smiles, basically cheese puffs, but they're organic and probably slightly healthier for you. So we got that um, up here. We've got the popcorners snack bags um, for some variety. They're not my favorite, but whatever. I'll, I'll eat them, but the kids love them and Brandon likes them. Got these um, flavor mix uh, and these are spicy ones. So these are mine. These are the spicy nachos. I mostly eat those. Brandon loves these. The kids all love these ones. So that's those. We got the regular mix here, um, you know, all of those, you know, they love their favorites, like the cool ranch and stuff like that. Got some goldfish. Uh, we haven't had goldfish in a while and I like to switch it up because sometimes they get sick of things. So it's good to have the varieties. And since these are all pre-packaged, it's actually better because it doesn't go stale as easy. So I can leave, you know, half of the cheese at once up higher and just put these out for um, them to grab for lunches and stuff and they won't really go bad. All of these will last for several months and by the time they expire or their best buy dates, like they still taste fine. So I'm not really worried about it. Got some pirate booty. It's always a staple around here. And now that's all the food haul, but let's move on to the non-grocery items over here. These were on sale. I've never seen these at Costco. So we picked them up, um, it was not a bad price and the ingredients are very good. So um, I'm gonna try those. I haven't tried them yet, so I can't speak for them, but you know, we got them. Got some pull-ups. Uh, Brielle is pretty much 
potty trained. She's been doing very well. She goes both on the toilet and we haven't had many accidents in the last week, although a couple, a couple at school, but she wears pull-ups for, you know, nighttime and bedtime. That's the same thing. Nap time is what I meant. Um, and sometimes if we're out and I just need her to, if we can't get to the bathroom, like I'll pull her, put a pull-up on her so that she doesn't, you know, ruin her clothes. So <clears throat> got those. And we got some toilet paper because, you know, it's 2022. You need toilet paper. So this is our haul, you guys. Here is the total. Is that more or less than what you thought? Because it was actually less than I thought. And as a little bonus, if you're still with me, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into all of my fermenting things over here. I call this my fermenting station. So this is not fermenting, but this is seeds <clears throat> that I'm sprouting. So all I do is fill this with water. So I soaked them overnight with water. And then I just fill it with water twice a day, swish it around, then dump it out. Pardon my dirty sink here, guys. This is real life. Kind of rinse them out. It helps them to sprout. This is like a salad sprouting blend. And then you put it on the little, ah, little thing here. They will like fill this whole thing. It's really cool. This is my sourdough starter. Um, it's looking really good and bubbly. Um, it's so easy to do guys. If you don't do it, definitely give it a go. I'll do a video on it soon. Um, sprouting these a little bit to plant outside because we need some more of those outside. Making my own apple cider vinegar over here. So I just, I'm gonna do a video on that too. Um, and this is my first time fermenting uh, red onions here. Uh, so I got these cool little lids um, and I will let you know how it goes. There's a little glass weight in here also. You can't see because it's clear, but um, to keep everything down below the waterline because that's what you have to do so mold doesn't grow. So if these turn out well, I'll do a video on it when I do it again. I also want to ferment carrots, but good probiotics going on over here. Um, so that is my special little corner. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. And if you have any special things you like to get at Costco or your local bulk warehouse place, let me know in the comments down below. Until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together. <sighs> Brio, we gotta put this away. Can you come help me? Okay, come help me.